Thank you for watching Virginia This Morning on CBS 6. Our next guest is an international best-selling author and certified success coach. And today, she's leading us through the conversation about how you can use three simple steps to prevent stress, anxiety, and depression. Joining us live by Zoom this morning is Kathleen L. And we welcome her to Virginia This Morning. Hi, Kathleen. Good morning, Andreas. Uh, look at, uh, I love how she just says good morning. Oh, so good. good morning, Andreas. <laughs> like you, you are there. So uh, f before we even talk about fixing stress, what causes stress? I mean, I think that's a natural thing, in us, isn't it, to have stress? It, it's like you're feeling danger or, or something like that. Yeah, you know, the clips that just you just showed, 9-11, uh, um, stress is caused by a number of things. And one particular thing is our body keeps the score. Our body remembers the traumas that we've experienced. And if we don't actually step through those emotions, we continue to bury it, pretend it's not there and mask it, then um, we continue to add stress and, and depression and anxiety. So there's a number of ways that we cause our own stress and that's primarily through our own thoughts. That's an interesting thought, causing your own stress. Sometimes we tend to, as you mentioned, keep track of all of these little things that continue to add up and continue to add up. So how does one look at decreasing that level of stress and anxiety? The first thing I would say is be in the moment. So what I share with my clients, especially those who have experienced traumatic uh, events, is that when you're in the moment and you're not thinking too far out into the future or too far in the past, you're able to think of things that you're grateful for. You're able to become back in this, this very moment that you have many things that you can live in joy for. Um, the second thing is to consciously breathe. When you're consciously breathing and focusing upon your breath, you're able to keep your emotions in flow, the energy in flow. So where you're not constantly projecting what you think your life is going to be five minutes from now, 10 minutes from now, 10 days or 10 years from now, because you are never in the same uh, moment that you are in this very moment. And third, believe, believe that you too can make it through this. Believe that if you take one step at a time in your healing journey, then you can survive and actually thrive through life. So uh, Kathleen, stress does affect our body. Obviously, uh, there's lots of chemical reactions and physical things going on that breathing does help, but, but how do we deal with that, that awareness of your body's physically reacting? Your body is constantly talking with you. So when you have a pain in your back or you think that you might've just slept wrong whether your neck is, is feeling um, tense, that's actually your body speaking with you. So it could be a physical ailment, it could be disease, it could be cancer or diabetes or anything that might be there. It's emotions that are stuck within our body. And so there, how you can move through that is to acknowledge that you might have an emotion that you're suppressing. And it, once you acknowledge that and, and move through it, then those ailments tend to fall away. Yeah, that, that's important to note. I mean, as you, as you think about, oh, I just may have a headache. I know there are certain aspects of my health that start to decline when I'm under intensive stress for a long time. Yeah. Um, so then there's the aspect of depression. And in some ways it can be difficult to determine, is this really depression? How am I feeling? So how do you help someone determine where they are and how do you help someone um, get away from depression if that's what they're experiencing? So when my son took his life in 2010 and wrote a note saying he didn't want me at his service, um, I experienced what I would call depression and I didn't want to live anymore. And the first step that I, that I took and that I actually assist my clients through is to step through your healing journey. You cannot avoid it. You cannot pretend that it's not there. You act, you absolutely have to address it. And when you're feeling depressed or sadness or all of those emotions, usually it's because you are thinking that your life is forever going to be what it is today. You're looking far into the future of how am I going to survive this moment and live, live through what I've experienced? And it's simply not the case. 
you, you, our emotions are constantly in flow, whether we want to acknowledge it or not. So we can choose to focus on the things that cause more stress, or we can choose to find the things that can bring joy. We can be in nature. We can um, sit and meditate. We can turn on some music and, and have fun. And we can banter back and forth like you and Bill do and just bring joy to people's lives. What an incredible journey to come from that level of trauma to the peacefulness that just exudes from you today. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have just brought so much peace to us this morning, just in the reminders that you've given us about breathing, about being in the moment. And those are things that I think we all, depending on where we are on that kind of spectrum of stress and anxiety can utilize to, to keep us in a better place. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate being able to share the message, especially with it being a suicide prevention month. Thank you, Absolutely. Kathleen. Absolutely. Well, for more information on Kathleen L., we'll post a link on our show website by 3 p.m. today at wtbr.com slash VTM. And Bill, that was just incredibly interesting. I, I think we've all dealt with some of that and all need some of those tips. Well, you know, you know she was talking about, uh, you know, living in the moment and everything and and taking everything in and I couldn't help but think I'm going back to Little League where you get hurt and the coach says shake it off get back out there yeah. and like kind of program not to think about right. things right you know it's exactly. like yeah you, you can overcome this and yeah. like no you need to stop Take a little inventory of what's going on. That's right. Hopefully not as traumatic as what she went through, but, you know, whatever it is in your life, and then kind of deal with it in the present. Yeah, what she said was really interesting. In that moment, you feel like your whole life is going to be what it is right now. But in the grand scheme of things, you're going to get past that. You've just got to be focused on this moment and getting past it, and you'll get there, right? Yeah, well, and of course, you know, I, I think you've, everybody's seen the cartoon of what, uh, you know, here you are, there's your gold, and you think you're going to go there to it, and instead it's like yeah. you know, all over the place, and, and hopefully maybe you end up there, maybe you end off way over there. And maybe you decided to go <laughs> yeah, that way. And, and it's probably better for you. Yeah. All right, folks, there's more for you to enjoy all over the place on Virginia this morning when we return from a quick break, including everywhere you are, wherever you are. Wherever you are. <laughs>